The XH150 is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Before the engine turns on, the XH150 travels 40 miles using only electricity. The following animation demonstrates how the XH150 works when operated in all-electric mode. Before we begin, notice the main components of the extreme hybrid drivetrain. The charging port is located behind the rear license plate of the XH150. This is where the XH150 receives household current to charge its batteries and ultracapacitors. Next is the lithium-ion battery pack, or batteries, toward the rear of the car. Next to the batteries are the fast energy storage ultracapacitors, or ultracaps, which buffer and protect the batteries during acceleration. The ultracaps charge up slowly and then deliver quick bursts of energy for acceleration. Shown in the front of the vehicle is the Power Electronics and Controls Unit, or PCC. This is the brain of the extreme hybrid drivetrain. It acts as a middleman to the whole system. Each component in the system sends energy to or receives energy from this unit before that energy reaches its destination. Finally, we have the motor generator, which is what translates electric energy into mechanical energy, making the differential rotate, the wheels spin, and the car move. Each of these components is connected by wires that carry electric current. Lastly, you will notice three gauges in the following animation that respond to acceleration. On the left will be the speedometer, in the middle the ultra cap state of charge, and on the right the battery state of charge. In the beginning of this animation, we see a household 110 or 220 volt power plug being plugged into the charging port of the XH150. This typically happens at night during off-peak hours for the power grid. When this plug is connected, electrical current moves through three wires in the vehicle to begin charging. The green wire carries current from the charging port to the PCC, which then sends that current through two separate blue and white wires to the batteries and ultracaps. The ultracaps are fully charged within a matter of minutes, and the batteries are charged over the course of several hours. The next day, you get into your fully charged vehicle. Stepping on the accelerator, you initiate energy flow from the batteries and the ultracaps to the PCC. Though a slow and constant energy is flowing from the batteries, it is the ultracaps that deliver the fast energy required for acceleration. This fast energy flows from the ultracaps through the PCC and into the motor generator, which translates the electric energy into mechanical energy, making the differential rotate, the wheels spin, and the vehicle accelerate. In this animation, the vehicle accelerates to a speed of 35 miles per hour, depleting the ultra cap slightly, and then begins cruising. Once the vehicle has stopped accelerating, energy begins flowing from the batteries into the PCC and then back to the ultra caps. When the driver accelerates again, fast energy is again delivered from the ultra caps to the PCC, to the motor generator, and into the drivetrain. The vehicle accelerates from 35 to 55 miles per hour and then begins cruising at 55. Once again, when the vehicle has stopped accelerating, energy begins flowing from the batteries into the PCC and back to the ultra caps, which are charged up again in a few minutes. By storing energy in the ultra caps and using them to deliver the fast energy required for acceleration, the XH150 is able to accelerate quickly without stressing the lithium ion batteries or causing resistive heating to occur. Thus, the ultra caps buffer and protect the batteries. Additionally, during braking, the ultra caps absorb energy from the brakes that would otherwise be lost. The XH150 plug-in hybrid vehicle featuring fast energy storage.